I have just come from the fitting. Can I come to your house later on and we'll look at some of the jewelry you told me I could have? Yes, you can. But can I ask you something? Yeah. What is it, mom? How much did that dress cost? You don't have to worry about that. You know that my godmother is sorting out the bill on it. The thing is, I only saw that dress yesterday, which was when I realized that it did not suit you. What? But everyone who has seen it, it says it looks great. It's made out of the best materials. Have you seen the beads? I will look heavenly when I walk down the aisle. When I have it on, I feel like a princess. I don't like it on you. It looks tacky. A wedding dress should be classier. Yours looks too expensive. In fact, like it's trying to too hard to be expensive. Well, I like it the way it is. Your sister is also not happy about the dress. Why is yours prettier than hers? Because it's my wedding? Why can't my dress be prettier than her? Gosh, I know that you would start something. I was just waiting for you to say something about my dress and why did you not like it? You don't like anything I do, but when it comes to Charlotte, you don't bat an eyelid. Are you trying to accuse me of favoritism? Because it will not work. I love all my kids equally. You should know that. I'm not in the mood for this, mom. I'm stressed as hell right now because there's so much to be done. And the wedding is in less than a month. That dress that you're saying doesn't suit me was altered by one of the best in the business. It fits me like a glove. I even sent you the picture. So why are you acting funny about it, mom? I'm not trying to be difficult. You know how important it is for your sister to shine. She's not like you. She might not be as quick-witted, but she's beautiful. Plus, it doesn't help that she's older than you and still isn't married. According to our family tradition, I shouldn't have allowed you to get married before your older sister. Mom, she will find someone soon. You know that she has an interest in fashion and makeup really wants to go to beauty school. Her goal in life shouldn't be to get married. Are you trying to cushion me? Need I remind you of my story? I was a single mom with single-handedly brought you up to be the beautiful ladies that you are today. Were it not for me, then you two would have been staying with your dad and that stupid woman he married. Yet you allowed dad to have custody of her brother. I knew that he would survive. But a daughter needs her mother. That is why I'm telling you that you need to make a plan. Either get a new dress or... Move some of those fancy crystals. I don't want you to outshine Charlotte. I refuse to do that. It is my wedding, and I'm going to look like a princess. You cannot make me wear something plain just because you want your daughter to feel better. You must stop entertaining her every whim. So you would rather her... She has a mental breakdown? She used to be the most beautiful girl in the room. Well, you have spoiled her too much. I should have said something a long time ago, but I didn't want to fight with you. I know that it's pointless. You never listen to me. You have to understand that your sister's going to be upset, and if she's upset, then no one can have a good day at the wedding. Do you want your day to be ruined? Or maybe should I just not attend since you're ashamed of your family? I still stand by my choice. I will talk to you about this later on when we are picking out my jewelry. Don't bother coming along since you don't want to be cooperative. Hey, babe, you've been awfully quiet. What's going on? I'm just so stressed with the wedding arrangements. By the way, my sister wanted to know if you and your sister would join her for some massages. Oh, that'd be nice. When? Later on Saturday afternoon. Then we can have our movie night after. I'm not opposed to the idea. See you then. I also wanted to talk to you about something. Someone came looking for you in my inbox. Oh, who? Maybe it's like an ex of yours? Because this person says that you blocked them. What is their name? James. Oh, no, not him. Who is he? My sister's crazy ex that she nearly got married to. What? Please, 
don't mention to anyone that I share this with you. But my sister dated this guy, James, about a year ago. Everything escalated quickly, and my mom was all for it. My sister is 30 and still single, which made my mom anxious. However, it turned out that James was a total nightmare. I won't go into all the details of what happened, but the whole ordeal gave her PTSD. Oh no, I'm sorry that happened. It's also kind of scary that he's messaging me. How does he even know that we're engaged? I didn't want to in the beginning, but I think I should put all of my social media in private. I am tired of him messaging me from different accounts. Does he even want to talk about it? I'm sorry that you have to deal with all this. He doesn't deserve my time at all. I will let my sister know about this bad day. Thank you very much for inviting us. Not a problem. It was my sister who invited you guys. Anyway, can't wait to see you later on. Hey, Charlotte. I'll pick you up so that we can go to the spa. Actually, I'm not coming with you. Why? Mom took me to get a haircut and some highlights. She wants me to look great at the wedding. You know that I promised my soon-to-be sister-in-law that we would be there. You should have at least told me because you're already paid and there is no refund. You should ask someone else to come with you. Anyway, it's not like money is a problem these days for you. Just paid for my share. It's the least you can do after the stunt you pulled. What stunt did I pull? You got a better dress than me. I cannot believe that you're actually this dumb. I have a better dress because I'm the one who's getting married. Your chance for marriage came and sailed. I will not be bullied to look regular at my wedding. You're lucky that I even allowed the wedding. I'm the oldest daughter and I'm supposed to get married first. By the way, your ex has not stopped trying to contact me. Oh, no. Not that psycho. Please don't tell him where I work now. I would never. You know, that man is crazy and would go to extremes. Tell me about it. He's insane. Okay, thank you. But next time, show up, please. You've been ignoring me, and I don't like it. Dude, I know we couldn't get a restraining order last time, but I'm sure that if we try this time, we would succeed. I'm going to ask you very nicely to leave us alone. I heard that you're getting married. Congratulations, but I need to talk to you about something. If you choose not to talk to me, then I'll tell your soon-to-be husband what you used to do when you were in college. You wouldn't dare. That is my past and you should let it remain buried. We need to meet. There's something I want to tell you. Why me? Because your mother is the one who framed me. She made me look like a stalker because she didn't want her child to marry me. You're crazy. Mother used to adore you so much. She wants her daughter to get married more than anything else in this world. I have it on good record that's not the whole truth. She wanted to hide her secrets. She was afraid that I'll spill them. Why would you tell me then, instead of telling my sister? It would crush her if she knew. Tell me what it is. We have to meet up. Okay, I'll send you the location. I've heard nothing about you changing your dress. Because I won't change. Then I'm pulling the funding from the wedding and I'm not attending. Then don't do it! What the hell do you want? To act as if you're there to pay for this wedding. I tried to make you feel like you were really doing something when the truth is that my fiancé is covering 40k of the wedding expenses. Then why did you not tell me that you wanted more? Because I knew you would not give me more. After all, I am not your golden daughter. So don't come, both of you. I'm wearing that dress down the aisle and there is nothing that you could do about it. Then you could not have your grandmother's jewelry. It's not like you were ever going to give me my mother-in-law already gave it to me. Oh, she supports me. She says that I look stunning in that dress and there is no need to make her look less beautiful. You will regret it. As if. You 
You never got back to me after what I told you. My mom is no longer a part of my life, so don't think that there is any reason why I should be worried about what she does with her life. She betrayed your sister, though. I know, but I'm not going to be the one who tells her. Well, this was a waste of time. I know that you're scared of her, but look, a time will come when you stand up to her. I've already done that. I'm guessing that you did it over text. I know that I wasn't the best boyfriend to Charlotte, but I was trying. I was working every day to be a better man. Yeah, you were. But my mom didn't give you a chance. I don't know, but my wedding is soon, and I don't want to start a drama. Okay, do as you will. Mom, why did the photographer say that you told them not to send me the wedding photos? If you remember, I was the one who got you that photographer, and I'm the one who signed the contract. So no, you will not have those photos because you didn't invite me to the wedding. How could you do that? You know that you're not invited because you couldn't support me. It was your own fault that I didn't invite you. I paid for the photographer, so no, you're not getting the pictures. Unless you give me two more. But I already paid you back. I've just gotten married. But will I get the money? Maybe ask your rich husband. The money I gave you was a loan, and now it has accrued interest. Wow, really, mom? Send me the money within a week, or else you could say bye bye to your wedding photos. You truly are evil. You said that you love both your daughters. But you are always doing something to sabotage us. So where is the love, Mom? I used to think that you loved Charlotte more than me, but after speaking to James, I realized that you only love yourself. You spoke to that stalker. Don't believe any of his lies. Oh, like how you framed him for stalking after he refused to leave my sister? He was just not good enough for her. What was I supposed to do? You probably just had to be a decent human being and let my sister be happy. You disappoint me. Will you tell her the truth? If you don't send those photos in 24 hours, then yes, I will. Okay, okay, I'll send it to you. Mom, where are the pictures? Deleted. I will not let you blackmail me. Mom. Are you really so hateful that you would do that to me? All I wanted was the pictures. I wasn't gonna say a word to my sister, but now I have forced my hands. She is my daughter. I know that she will believe me. Are you sure about that? Babe, I just wanted to tell you that I couldn't recover our wedding photos. I'm so sorry. Mom is always so angry with me after deciding not to invite her and my sister to the wedding. What she was asking for was too much. So why was she shocked that you didn't want her there? I would never let you have a bad day if I could help it. She first asked for two thousand. When I asked for the pictures, she refused. So I decided to blackmail her with some information that I found out. That did not turn out well for me. She says that even if I tell my sister, she will forgive her. The thing about her framing Charlotte's fiance? Yes, that. Don't worry about the wedding pictures. I'll talk to the photographer. If we can't get them, then we'll ask everyone who was present at the wedding to help us out by sending their pics. I think that would make for a kind of unique wedding album, don't you think? Yes, that sounds great. But I still talk to Charlotte and tell her the full truth about what Mom did. Maybe be careful too. Try to keep minimal details. Know that you're doing her a favor by telling her she's really gonna need you. I know. I hope that I'll be able to keep my composure when I tell her. When I think of what my mom did, I get so mad. Your sister deserves to know. As for my mom, she's going to lose the person she loves the most in the world. All because of her stupid choices. She brought this upon herself.
You were right. My mom tried to seduce James and succeeded. She admitted that she did this with my exes too. I'm sorry. Nah, you don't have to say that you're sorry. I probably deserve this because I took her side. Don't beat yourself up about it. Mom did that because she can be a shitty person and has low self-confidence. Yeah, heard about what she did to your pictures, by the way. She deleted them, but she forgot that there was such a thing as recycling bin. No way! You got them for me? Yep, I got it for you. Oh my god! Thank you so much! When I confronted her, she got angry and defensive. She then told me that if I wanted to question her, then I was welcome to leave her house. Before I left, I made sure that I got the pictures. It was all my fault. I'm so sorry that I was so self-centered when I came to the dress. No, it's fine. Thank you so much for saving my pictures. Ben is being such a sweetheart by getting people who took pics to send them. However, it's not the same as the ones that are professionally done, you know? That will definitely include all of those in the photo album. Do people even do this anymore? Everything is so digitized. Also, why did your photographer not send you the pics when mom refused to? Since I didn't pay her, it was mom. She refused to talk to me and even ended up blocking me. I even threatened to take her to the court but she was so determined not to help me. Well, sucks for both of them because you got the pictures either way. By the way, where are you going to stay now that mom has kicked you out? I should have thought about that. Oh, don't worry. I'm just going to ask some friends. I don't have that many friends that mom didn't get for me, but I'm sure that someone will be kind enough to let me stay with them. No such thing will happen. I won't let my little sister suffer while I have a house. Come stay with me and my husband. I could speak to his sister. Her boyfriend lets out apartments. We can make a plan for you. Wow, really? Thank you so much. How are you feeling emotionally? I am seriously emotionally wrecked. I kept thinking that it was a dream and that was what really happened. I don't know if it's worse or not that what she accused him of doing in the beginning. I know it's really disappointing. But at least now we know the truth. Will you talk to him? Right now, I need to figure out what to do next. Then I will see. Okay, great. Where were you? Let me come and pick you up. I'm outside the house, was about to call a car and book myself into a motel. Well, you don't have to do that now because I'm here. Thank you so much, sis. You're the best. I already told her. I hope this means that you will stop contacting me. Yes, yes. I won't talk to you anymore. I'm glad that at least she knows. And I'm not the only person who had to go down for that. That mother of yours is twisted. You better watch your back. No offense, but I do know my mom and what she's capable of. So don't try to make yourself an expert on her. I'll be on high alert. Okay, good. Look, just a friendly warning. Okay, now please delete my number. My husband doesn't like the fact that you're contacting me at all hours of the night. Don't you have a life? Very well. Good luck with your life, Harper. Where did you get those pictures? I told the photographer to delete them. Do you mean my wedding pictures, Mom? They were a gift from my sister. She will come crawling back to me soon. She knows that Mother Dearest knows best. No, she will not. She now knows that you are a poison. If so, then why did she come to see me yesterday? Probably to fetch some of her stuff. I know she was there. She told me you can try to put us against each other, but you will not win. You already managed to ruin our relationship with her brother. What more do you want now? Oh, please, don't blame me. You know where she stays. You can go there anytime you want. We don't know him because he forbade us from visiting him when we were younger. So what is the point in trying to visit him now? He's probably like a loser, just like your dad and you. And now, 
You're ru ruining Charlotte too. Oh, wait. Now I see it. You're still bitter that dad had enough of you, so he decided to leave. Now that makes sense. You hate me because I remind you of him, right? You made sure that you drove a rift between all of her kids because you know that to divide is to conquer. What are you even talking about? You are a control freak. You have lost everything already. Just accept defeat and leave us alone. We don't want to talk to you again. I know that I lost you years ago, but not my Charlotte. She's a smart girl. She's just like me. She's nothing like you. You will see. I love how wrong you are when you realize it. Your house will already be on fire. Babe, I swear, she's the one who's been acting weird. What do you mean? Have you not spoken to your sister? She ran out of here, and I assumed that she talked to you. Wait, there's someone at my door. It must be her. Have you spoken to her? I swear that I knew nothing about this. She's lying. She came in here with torn clothes. She claims that you tried to force herself on her. Yes, she came home from work early. Don't even think that she even went to work. I told her that my sister found her a place to stay a few days ago, which is when she started to act weird. It has actually been weeks that I have been observing her. She's working with mom to try to ruin our marriage. Whoa, is that not being a little far-fetched? I put a recording device in her room because I don't trust her. Did you think that after all that she pulled, I would blindly trust her? My mother has pretty much brainwashed her. It would take years before she could even think for herself. If ever, you know, when we were younger, she would pretend to be sick for weeks so that she could get taken care of by mom. She would even go to work with her. I later found out that mom claimed Charlotte had a disability. That seems a bit too extreme. Those who are attached and their relationship is toxic. It's destroying both of them and they don't even realize it. So what are you going to do about this? I have no choice but to get rid of all of this. Enough is enough. Trying to ruin my marriage is a step too far. The woman slept with her fiancé and she still wants to help her. This is like Stockholm Syndrome, isn't it? Well, like fruit, but maybe less weird. Definitely more psychotic. Yeah, I think that's the most accurate explanation. So tell me, what are you going to do? I'm gonna teach her a lesson. She thinks that I'm stupid? Now I just act as if I believed her. Do you think you can stay with your sister for a bit? Yes, of course, I'll do that. Do what you need to do. Okay. Hey sis, how do you feel? Still traumatized. Don't worry, he's not coming back. Thank you so much for taking my side. You're my sister. I'll always take your side. Listen. I'm away for the weekend. Can I trust you to house it? Yes, of course. Okay, but no crazy parties. None at all. Okay, I'm leaving straight for the airport tomorrow evening. Okay, great. You can trust me, sis. Everything's still okay at home? Yes, of course. Just chilling alone. Tell me if you need money for more food. Nah, for now, I'm good. Can I call? Actually, right now, I'm a bit tired. I think I need to go to bed. Yes, of course. Get some rest, sleeping beauty. Okay, sis, thank you. It's like I'm the younger sis and you're the older sis. You take care of me so well. Well, you know that I truly adore you. I sent all the evidence to you. Good. Just gonna make a quick run to the cops. Thanks for doing this for me. Revenge feels good. I just need to make sure that they don't get away with accusing my husband of such disgusting things. Gosh. 
do you think that they wanted to blackmail me when I came back? Well, they're going to be in for a surprise. You are quite smart. How do you know that? She would even bring her mom over? If there is one thing that my mom loves, it is to gloat. Knowing that me and my husband were away and heading for a divorce, she couldn't handle herself. She needed to see it for herself and celebrate my demise with her accomplice. And they couldn't help but to confess. I told you, I know them best. 27 years of my life with them has taught me a lot. Thank you once again. Thank you. Someone had to pay for how my reputation was ruined because of those two. Her mom ruined me. And then she just put the final nail in the coffin. And now we buried them. Exactly. Happy Monday to you, my dear husband. Is this Monday really good? Oh, you don't know? My mom and sister got arrested. Huh? Why? Plotting to commit a crime and also to blackmail me. They plan to report you to the police, which they did this morning. What they didn't know was that there was evidence waiting for them, which proved that they planned this. So that's why you wanted me out of the house? Yes. I planted some cameras in strategic places. And then I lied to her that I was going to be out of town, so she would call mom. The rest was history. Well... It is a happy Monday indeed. Your wife cannot wait to see you back in her house tonight. And of course, it is omelette night. And that's why I married you. I feel like that is the only reason you love me. I can remind you about all the other ways I love you later on. Oh yes, please. My mom and my sister ended up getting a fine and one year of community service each. They're back to living with each other, miserable as always. But when I see them sweeping the streets, there is always an extra spring in my step. And of course, my sister is not any closer to getting married. The blockage is right in front of her and she doesn't see it. 